everybody. So today I'm filming a video on Marie Pierre Prouveau, who you may also know as Bambi. She's an Algerian born French trans icon and legend. She was a showgirl back in the day. She's had a movie done about her. I really recommend you look at her life. It's totally fascinating and she seems so, like such a sweet person. So the hair was inspired by this. I wanted to do, I wouldn't normally do something like this um, because it's not really styled. Like she's at the beach here. But this to me was just like the ultimate in glamour. Um, and the makeup is inspired by this photo with also this video and also this photo. So there's kind of an amalgamation of a couple in there. Um, and with the era that she was prominent in, she did rock the bottom lashes sometime. The hair was so easy. It was just a mohawk with rollers and bricklay pattern throughout the rest. Um, and I'm so happy with how it turned out. But other than that, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Um, you can follow me on TikTok as well, too. I live stream these looks as well as post short form content of these looks. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Sounds like a gun just went off outside. Anyway, bye! Okay, everyone, so you're going to see um, my mannequin feature in a couple uh, slides here. I just want to let that be known. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move into the eyes. I did the eyebrows first, and I'm going to be using the P. Louise base on the eyes. And um, we're going to be using the Touch of Frost eye base on the uh, lid. So going ahead and filling on filling out our lid with that color. Um, it's like a nice mint blue. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the top left color of the Orgy palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, and for the blue, I'm using Lottie London, the Cosmic Love palette. Um, love this palette. So beautiful. The colors are so beautiful and so nice to work with. I used the color Mint 2B. And then for the crease, I used um, Safe Sex by Orgy. Um, the colors are mortifying. I still hate them. Uh, or the, the color names, I mean, not the, not the colors. Love the colors, hate the names. Anyway, going ahead and blending out that um, brown and making sure that that is all nice and blended, that it kind of just looks like a natural crease. We don't want it to look too dramatic um and then i'm gonna go ahead and there you go you could see the mint to be color on the second from the left and it's a matte mint color then we're gonna go ahead and blend that up we're kind of doing garage doors where it's one color all over but i did add in the crease color just to kind of add depth and modernize the look but still staying true to the reference and I did use as well the top left color in the Orgy palette on the brow bone and the inner corner. So I just wanted you to know that. Um, using the Made by Mitchell liquid eyeliner and uh, not doing anything too spectacular, uh, just a standard line. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend the line out um, or pack on some shadow in a more smoky way at the eye line um from with the dark black color in the orgy palette and i will do that and then i'll go ahead and apply lashes i did go ahead and do a video on how i make these lashes if you wish to see then i'm using the nyx plump right back serum and primer i have been liking this um, if I didn't have a ton of primers in my collection, I would repurchase this. I just want that to be known. Um, and then I'm using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer, blending out with the uh, Real Technique sponge all over, and then my fingers under my eyes. And then I'll go ahead and I will use the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Now, for lips, I was going to do something more um, 
reddish pink, but I really enjoyed in that one photo of uh, Marie Pierre looking in the mirror. I loved how her lips looked there and they were more of a pink tone nude. So that's what I decided to go with. So then going ahead and applying that uh, True Match Lumi foundation, I've had some people ask me what is, what are my favorite foundations? Um, this is definitely one of them. I love this foundation. I've been wearing it for a very long time. Um, I like to switch it up every now and then, but this is the one that I've repurchased like a lot. Uh, so going ahead and using that and then I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. light medium halo glow contour. I am not doing that in any special way just along the perimeter of the face just so that it doesn't look like a stark mask of foundation. That's my main reason for adding depth and dimension just because I don't want it to look like I have only applied foundation all over my face and totally blanked out my face, you know what I mean? You gotta add in that dimension after to make it look more real, I guess. Although, with how much makeup I'm wearing, I don't really go for the real look, but whatever. <laughs> then I'm using the Made by Mitchell um, Blush and Sweet Cheeks. I'm using that color very high and tight. Uh, high to my eye closer to my eye than I would normally place my blush for that more kind of 60s mod look and setting the entire face with my skin color of MAC Studio Fix Powder and white under the eyes to make sure that they are very bright and very covered. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and by covered, I mean coverage, by the way. <laughs> I'm assuming you know, but like maybe you don't, you know. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Soft Luminance High Definition Setting Powder. Really enjoy this. This is another one that I would repurchase if I didn't have a ton in my collection. Um, just because I'm trying to go through stuff that I've had for years. Then after I, I have gone ahead and set the entire face, I will go ahead and use, um, after I dust off all of the loose powder, I will use the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze along the perimeter of the face. I always make sure I go ahead and drag my fingers over my skin so that I don't have any tugging or pulling um, from unset foundation, like still wet foundation. I didn't go ahead and use any blush over top of my powder because I wanted it to stay that kind of baby doll pink color and I didn't want it to be too dramatic. For the bottom lashes, what I did so that I wasn't getting glue everywhere was I applied blue along the black line that I drew and then I stuck the lash onto the glue. I found that that was the most easy way of doing it. If you put glue on the whole lash and try to put it on, you're going to get glue everywhere. If you just put glue where you want the lash to stick, that is what you need to do. So that is what I did. It was much more significant um, and easy. Then I used the Lee Swatche Soft Plum Lip Pencil as well as the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick and a little bit of ColourPop Flexitarian. The hair was so easy, you guys, using Velcro rollers, just going ahead and rolling it in a mohawk style and then bricklay all over and you get this beautiful bombshell hair. Um, I was so happy with it. I couldn't stop swinging it around. Uh, there's so much bounce and I every time I use rollers I remember why I love rollers do you know what I mean I'm like why don't I do this more it's so nice it's heatless you know um, if they were more comfortable to sleep on I would do my natural hair like that but because all I did with this was dampen the 
dampen the strand, put in the roller, and then I left my mannequin that I was wearing this wig in front of my wind machine to dry. And it worked excellently. Um, so yeah, and I did want to mention when I'm rolling my hair, my hair can tend to fall down at the front because I over direct to get as much volume as possible around the hairline. Um, so what I will do is I will brush that back with a wide tooth comb and I will tease it a little bit on the ends and kind of French lace it in, which means you're blending in the two sections with the side hair. Um, so I'm kind of teasing it so that it sticks to the side hair. I hope this makes sense. I do believe I show it in this video, if not for a fleeting second. Um, but I'm just making sure that I have all those rollers out and there's honestly not much styling that you have to do outside of just, um, just that. Yeah. The, the, uh, teasing of that part and you can see that there and that is it. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.